Hi, welcome to the Big Bear Homestead. And today, in our Predator Control on the Homestead series, we're going to talk about a muskrat float. Okay, so we're going to talk about a muskrat float. So what exactly is a muskrat float? Well, a muskrat float is a way that you can effectively remove muskrats from your pond, creek, wet marshy areas, anything like that. And all, it's very simple construction, very easy to put together, and it's very effective. Because one of the reasons is, is because the muskrats do not feel threatened by this set whatsoever. So now that we know what a muskrat float is, how do we go about making or getting one? Okay, so how do you go about getting a muskrat float? Well, you can purchase them on the internet, but to be honest with you, why bother? Really, all you need is some scrap two by fours. Um, I use the big uh, number one, one and a halfs here on mine. And I literally, just took five two by fours. I built a frame and then I put one across the middle with a nail coming out of the center of the one in the, coming across the middle and that's where I stick my bait. Okay? I just make a box. I run two and then I run two and then the two that are on the bottom, okay, these, these right here, is where I place my trap. Now, the distance that you want depends upon the trap that you use. If you're using long springs, your space is gonna be a little bit wider than using co coil springs, okay? So basically, you just wanna set your trap, Okay, and you want to make sure that that trap sits in here just fine. Okay, nice and level as best that you can. Now, one of the things that we're going to do after this trapping season is now that I have a router, I'm going to route out the base of this trap and a spot for the chain to come down so that way this trap sits even further down inside this board. And the reason being is, is then that way this trap doesn't wobble, it, it beds really nice. And uh, because like right now, this swivel is kind of stuck and it won't let my trap sit flat to show you, but it'll, it'll rock now. So when I route this out, it's all gonna sit in there nice and then that way these jaws will be flush with this two by four. And the object is, is for when the muskrat comes up and he's coming after the apple or the orange or the uh, squash, whatever it is that you put up here, he swims up here, these pieces will be out of the water, okay? And this will be underneath the water. And he swims up and he puts his foot right here on the pan, blam, and the trap, We'll take him straight down into the water and it'll hold him there and he'll drown. <clears throat> now, I know a lot of you guys are gonna say that one and a half is awful big for a muskrat. And you're right, if I was set in a pocket set, I wouldn't use a big one and a half, I'd go down to a number one. But the plain fact is, is I want the weight. I want to make sure that way if I catch a big male, it'll have enough weight so that way he'll be down here under the water, drowned, not coming back up here, sitting on my trap, trying to chew his foot off. That's my train of thought. Um, I could be 100% wrong and number one is heavy enough. I sleep well at night, you know, and I'm using the, the one and a half. So that's, you can say what you want to say. And all I do is I just take, I took my, um, the hoop, 
and I just used a fence staple and I beat it in to the bottom of the two by four and that secures my trap to the float. And like I said, I have a nail coming up, this, coming up out of the center that I use to put the orange, well this, in this case an orange because the girls ate all the apples, um, the orange on, bam, it sits down there. And then I just have some rope wrapped around it here. I don't know where the end is. I'm standing on it. That's probably why it won't come undone. But I put a good chunk of rope on here, okay? I think I got about five feet of rope. And right now I've got it secured uh, with a tow hitch right here on this nail. And then all I do is I'll find a tree, a bunch of cat of nine tails, something. And this whole purpose is to stop this from floating downstream or floating way out to the center of the pond. I want to be able to keep it to where I can get to it. And you can set these from the bank. All you do, place your um, bait on, set your traps, put it in the water, push it out there to float, and tie it off. When you come back in the morning, if the trap is in the water with a muskrat, this one end will probably be out depending on the size of the muskrat, but you'll definitely be able to see. If you're lucky enough to get two, then these boards will be a lot further down in the water. You just pull the rope to you, get your muskrats, reset it, push it back out there. Now this type of trap on a smaller scale, a lot of guys use it when they're kayak trapping. So it, it's a good all around trap for muskrats. Um, we've had success with it. We've had some headaches with it. And I think a lot of the headaches has been is because I haven't been able to um, route out the, and let the trap sit flush with this board. I think once we do that, this is going to become very a very successful tool in my toolbox. What we'll do is we'll put the plans in the um, we'll do another video on how to make this because I don't, really don't have the plans. It's very simple. We'll do another video on how to make a muskrat float for you guys, and it'll it'll just uh, kind of just show up. It'll be one of our special videos, not registered in a series. Um, but we'll do a video on how to make this in case you guys have any other questions and how we set it up and how we sketched out to to route and everything like that. But if you got muskrats now. This is a real quick, you know, five small chunks of two by four. Make a square, two on the bottom, two on top, perpendicular. One across the middle, put your traps on there, put an apple or an orange, some type of a, a bright, you want a bright type of fruit, something that's gonna go, hi, out there. Put some rope on it and float it out. Your, the muskrats will come to it, especially this time of year. Um, and that's, and that's it. So I want to say thanks for coming by the Big Bear Homestead and like always, have a nice day.